Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and this is your 28th tutorial. And I assume you guys were following along and you walked through this course. So I assume you watched all the previous videos and you tried to code by yourself as well. So that's why I want to say guys, you did a good job. You did a really good job following this course. And we are, this is already 28th tutorial, so we are done with uh, more than half of this tutorial course. So, <clears throat> so far we learned lots of uh, functions and features of jQuery. And, uh, but today there is something more like something trickier is going to come. And we are going to start, I say start, learning Ajax. Probably lots of people heard about Ajax and you guys don't know what it is. And you can either go to Wikipedia and read this article on Ajax, which is well, I, I don't I don't think you will understand a, a lot. Well, of course you will know the theory what Ajax is and stuff, but well, jQuery provides you uh, lots of built-in functions to work with Ajax and. Well, Ajax sounds really complicated. Asynchronic JavaScript and XML. What is this? And um, well, I think jQuery is a very, very good tool, even to learn Ajax. And if you are, because you know, every time you learn some something complicated, you would prefer to learn it uh, for something sim simple, right? And since jQuery provides very uh, simple methods to uh, access. Uh, files on servers asynchronically and you know this word asynchronically it sounds very complicated well you know what asynchronically means or, or asynchronical means that you can um, you can pr basically uh, send a request to a server so that the server gives, gives you some data uh, anytime after the page is, is loaded well normally if if uh, if this were a server, a web server, and I click reload. What the browser does, it sends a request, a GET request to the server, saying like, "Hey server, can you please um, send me some packages, some data packages?" And the server says yes, and there's a communication between browser and server. So the browser just um, uh, browser just uh, go uh, gives a feedback to the server, going like, "Hey server, I received this package." I need the next one, and uh, <clears throat> after the page is loaded, that means that this process is done, and the connection um, interrupts, so the browser doesn't communicate with the server anymore after the page is loaded. So, and like 10 years ago, or I don't know how many years ago, where when it was no Ajax, you, uh, you, you weren't really able to uh, um, do this um, asynchronic request to the server to get some data without loading the page. So, but today and nowadays Ajax is something very, uh, I mean, common and lots of website websites use it, lots of d dynamic websites use it. So today we are going to uh, learn some basics, like very, very basics of Ajax. And uh, as you know guys, uh, I promised you guys that we will make a text description down here saying um, like describing what this picture is and stuff and we are not going to store this text in the web page that would be very very easy and you know but we are going to uh, load the description asynchronically using jQuery and display it right here so we are going to start um, writing functions for jQuery and I'm afraid we are going to do this in the next tutorial because the time is up and we have only five minutes uh, for uh, each video tutorial maybe six in some cases but anyway uh, I hope you guys will follow along because in the next tutorial we are going to learn something very very awesome which is Ajax and um, well, if you want, you can go ahead and uh, and read something on Ajax if you don't know what it is. But you actually don't need to because you will understand what it is anyway when we start working with it. And then maybe later, I will show you guys. Um, I'll, I'll just compare the same functionality written in um, in, in like native 
JavaScript and jQuery. And you will see how easy jQuery is to work with Ajax. Alright guys, thanks for watching. You uh, didn't really learn a lot of this tutorial, but now you know some facts and you uh, know what we are going to do. And uh, I hope I explained you well what Ajax is. So I'll see you guys in the 29th tutorial. And I hope you will have fun. So, see you later. Bye-bye.